Now this aya, last but one. But this completes the definition of a true mu'min. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَهَاجَرُوا وَجَاهَدُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَالَّذِينَ آمَوا وَنَصَرُوا أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ حَقَّا لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةٌ وَرِزْقٌ كَرِيمٌ And those who accepted the faith, who responded positively to the call of the Prophet ﷺ, and then they immigrated, they left their homes and hearts and the land of their ancestors, وَجَاهَدُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ And they striped, in the, in the way of Allah. وَالَّذِينَ آبَا وَنَسَرُوا And those who gave them refuge and, and they helped them. أُولَائِكَ هُمُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ حَقَّا And they are the true moments. لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةٌ وَيْرِسْمٌ كَرِيمٌ For them is the maghfirah, the pardoning, the forgiving and a very honorable provision in the hereafter. Now you look, refer to the ayah number 2 and 3. Ayah number 2 and 3 of this surah. إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَعَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ الَّذِينَ يُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةَ وَمِمَا رَدَقْ لَهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ أُولَئِك وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَهَاجَرُوا وَجَاهَدُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَالَّذِينَ آمَوْا وَنَسَرُوا أُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ حَقَّا لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةٌ وَرِزْقٌ كَرِيمٌ And this is to which I was referring as three dimensions of the personality of Mu'min. One is the internal, esoteric element. Iman, khashiyah, fear of Allah, fear of standing before him on the day of judgment. أَمَّا مَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ وَنَهَنْ نَفْسَانِ الْحَوَىٰ When Allah is remembered or mentioned, their hearts tremble. And when the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are recited unto them, this increases them in faith. Their level of yaqeen and their level of conviction increases. So that is one aspect. The second aspect and the third, they are outside. Outward behavior. But one outward behavior is وَيُقِيمُ السَّلَاةَ وَبْمُهَا لَقْلَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ Establishing the prayer. And they are spending. Whatever we have provided them with, they are spending for the cause of Allah, for making the deen of Allah supreme, for spreading the message of Allah. This is one. And the other, obvious external side of the third dimension, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَهَاجَرُوا وَجَاهَدُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَالَّذِينَ آمَوا وَنَسَرُوا so these are the three dimensions of the personality of a moment. And if you want one ayah embracing all them, that is the ayah number 14 of Surah Al-Hujrat. In ayah number 13 in Surah Al-Hujrat, a distinction is made between Muslim and Mu'min. قَالَتِ الْعَرَابُ آمَنَّا قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُوا وَلَكِنْ خُلُوا أَسْلَمْنَا وَلَمَّا يَدْخُلِ الْإِمَانُ فِي قُلُوبِكُمْ these Bedouins are claiming that we have come to believe. Tell them, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you have not at all come to believe. Don't be mistaken. Only what you can say is that you have come, become Muslims. You have submitted. You have surrendered. And the true faith, true iman, namma yadkhulil imanu fi qulubikum, has not as yet entered your hearts. Now with this background, a comprehensive definition of a moment comes in the next ayah. Ayah number 15. Of Suratul Hujarat. In Namal Mu'minun Al-Lazina Amanu Billahi wa Rasulihi Summa Lam Yartabu. This is the internal. They have the conviction, not only profession, not only saying with the tongue. Then they have no doubt. They believe in Allah and His Messenger. And they have no doubts about it. But Jahadu bi amwalihim wa anfusim fi sabirillah. And the second, and they and they Strive hard in the way of Allah with their belongings and lives. So a comprehensive in namal mu'minun al-lazina amanu billahi wa rasulihi summa lam yartabu wa jahadu bi amwalim wa anfutim fi sabirillah ulaika humus sabiqoon Only such people are true if they claim to be true believers, real believers. Here we find, you know, one part of it in the very beginning. The other part of it at the end. But the beauty, you know, 
there also in the beginning also first i have a something else yes aluna kanin alfa a legal question in the same way the last ayah of this surah is also something relating to a legal point there was also second and three ayah third ayah and here also last but one now the last ayah walladhina amanu min ba'd wa hajaru wa jahadu ma'hum fa ulaika minhum whosoever now will believe after that this was the the beginning of the muslim society at madina comprising of two parts walladhina amanu wa hajaru wa jahadu fi sabilillah walladhina aawa wa nasaru now later on who are now believing later on till the end of this world this ayah will cover forever walladhina amanu min ba'du wa hajaru and now whosoever will come to believe after that and if they also make hijra wa jahadu ma'akum and if they also strive hard for the cause of allah with you faulaika minkum they will be a part and parcel of your own society yeah they will also become a part and parcel they will be from you but wa ulul arham ba'dhum aula bi ba'd the blood relations will remain nearer to each other you know this relation of iman is not going to cover the law islamic law inheritance won't go to a brother whom the prophet declared to be a brother of an ansari a muhajir is a brother but inheritance won't go to him that is you know the legal issue yeah they are brothers you are brothers you must love each other more than the real brothers but the law will take the precedence and waulul arham ba'dukum wa ulab ba'din fi kitab Allah and this word kitab usually comes in quran for the legal structure of islam kutiba alaykum kutiba alaykum you know kitaban hatta yablug al kitab ajala so all these words you know in different places kitab mostly refers to the legal teachings of quran as regards the legal structure ulul arham ba'dukum wa ulab ba'din now these relatives they are closer to each other these blood relations the womb relation of the wombs of the mothers you are brothers because you were born of the same mother but you are brothers because you are also muslim he is also muslim you are a muhajir and he is a ansari but this brothership is something else that brothership is something else inna allah bi kulli shay'in alim verily allah knows everything he is aware of everything